Hello, I'm Tom Martin from the University of California, San Francisco, Helen Diller Family Comprehensive Cancer Center. And I'm joined today with Blood Cancers Today Editor-in-Chief, Dr. Sagar Loniel of the Winship Cancer Institute in Emory, Dr. Shambhavi Richard of the Center of Excellence for Multiple Myeloma in the ICANN School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York, and Dr. Peter Voorhees of Levine Cancer Institute in North Carolina. And this is our first roundtable of um, discussion on BCMA targeted CAR T cell therapy. To close, I have a couple questions or one last question for all you guys, and that is, how do you hand these patients off to your local, um, you know, referring physicians when they go back after the month being with you guys or two months or whatever it is? How do you hand them back? What do you tell the local guys to watch out for? Peter, how about I'll start with you? So uh, I think, you know, if the CAR T cell therapy has worked, um, they will universally have an IgG level of less than 400 milligrams per deciliter. So the referring physician will be giving IVIG on a monthly basis um, for an extended period of time. Um, all of the uh, infection prevention measures that you uh, discussed are important. So make sure that they stay on zoster reactivation prophylaxis, that they're on PGP prophylaxis until their CD4 count you know, rises to 200 or better, um, to be very vigilant uh, about monitoring and addressing uh, infection as it arises, um, making sure to keep close track of their counts uh, over the course of time as well, to look for those late-term uh, neurotoxicity signals that, that Shambhavi uh, discussed previously. Are they having trouble with gait instability, um, incoordination, you know, those sorts of things. Those are the kinds of things that we need to know about right away. Uh, excellent. Shambhavi or Sagar, anything to add to that? Because that was pretty, pretty inclusive. Yeah, no, pretty much that was it. But then I do give my cell phone number to the doctor so that, I, you know, I try to maintain close touch this way. You know, they're not leaving messages in my office. Please call me directly and say if there's any issues that you need help with. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think I think Pete covered it. And, you know, the nice thing about COVID, I hate to say it, but it introduced us to these virtual visits. So it's really nice that actually even patients that go far away from your center, you can get them on screen and you can talk to them and you can see what their facial expressions are. You can see if they're having any tremors and then you can actually get the family involved too and ask them, have you noticed any difference with, you know, with uh, Papa or whoever the family member is, right? So it's really kind of nice. And I agree, a close contact and really tell the local guys, just call if you have any questions. Here's my cell phone. Just call me if there, there are any issues that you want to discuss. Well, that was a wonderful discussion. I want to thank all of you for um, this discussion here with uh, Blood Cancers Today. And uh, we hope you all have a nice day.